Hey everybody, Plushbook here, back with, with another Jurassic World. Um, I don't even know if it's Dominion or not, but I'm probably going to put it in the playlist. But if it's on Odyssey, I don't know what to do then. But this is the Hammond Collection Clan Cavenator. That's what it looks like. Let's get a thumbnail shot. Alright, there's no, um, what is it, 30th anniversary logo. Today is December 12th, 2022. I got this off of Amazon.com. This was on on pre, on pre-order for a little bit, but now we finally have it. Um, here is the barcode. Get this right in there for you. There you go. All right, let's open this up. Here you go. Get the concavenator out of the box. There will be some assembly is required. Let's pop them out. His eyes look good. Thankfully, uh, this is gonna hurt. Ow, ow, ow. I hate that pain so much. All right, how well does the jaw do? All right, the jaw's fine. Let's open it back up. It looks good open. Alright, get the tailpiece out. Alright, there's some assembly required. It shouldn't be hard for you guys to figure out which way this goes in. Hold on, it goes in like this. For some reason, you're supposed to twist it up. Alright, this looks really nice. I'm sorry, this is a awesome looking figure. Oh, and we even have wrist articulation. Which, I'll, I'll bring up one point about this, of well, a few points actually. Alright, articulation. The top of the head does not... Oh, it does! The top of the head does open like that. It's just kind of hard, because you got that big gap there, which... Oh no, I don't want to break the damn thing. Alright, yeah. I would probably wouldn't use the jaw at least very much another thing is and this it can actually turn its head all the way over like this now the hamaclitch and ceratosaurus is actually in the promo it said it could do it but in the final product it could not so a lot of us were kind of d disappointed and rightfully so um the inside of the mouth doesn't look bad There you go. I'm not going to turn the flash on because it's pretty bright out here. We got some of the scaling going down. And the only other thing I'd say is that the inside of the mouth kind of shows, especially on this side. There really isn't a way to fix that. But if I were you, I would recommend having the mouth open like this. So the neck... Has two points of articulation in the, the mid part of the neck and the base of the neck, which is both on a bald joint. You can turn the head all the way over like that. Well, I know the Baryonyx could do that, but you'd have to turn the neck around. Another thing that I'd like to point out, it's a positive about this, is that this has... Um, what is it? Wrist articulation. So the arms obviously can move up and down, backwards and forwards, and the elbows can do the same thing. And as well as the wrists. Finally, the wrist can kind of move. Because it can kind of, it can go back like that, where it's kind of up, but it can't go down very well. But, but you can spin them around and kind of have them looking somewhat accurate. But the only problem is with that is that it has thumbs. See, I don't get why it has thumbs. It shouldn't, it should not have thumbs on it like that. Another thing I'd like to say is that the scales on this look really, really good. I like how the scales are all up and down the neck and it goes like this. There's some small scales on the hump. The hump is actually a soft plastic, but the glue on mine starting to fail. 
but hopefully I can get some glue on that and fix it. All right, what else? There is some bit of an undershading going down underneath like this, going down all the way to the tail area, which then it fades into the brow. Another thing, I don't like fades very much, but this fade is actually really, really good in my opinion. This is a very good example of a fade. It's similar to the Mega Raptor in colors. Got that reddish and blue brownish. Um, what else? The, the legs can go out and in like that. They can go forward, backwards and forward like this. The knees have articulation. They can go back and go forward like that. And the ankle, this is technically the ankle can move like that as well as the foot the the foot here can actually move I don't think the feet are very big on this which is kind of a good thing because their Mattel does give their theropods large feet well I guess this is an exception I know the old concavenators didn't this looks very similar to the old one in many ways and now let's go on over the tail the entire tail is a softer plastic and it actually has some bendable wire in the in the middle of it. So you can kind of get them poses. But the only thing I'd say is that you kind of can't use the wire too much. Because of the big... Because the part of the hump on the back, you wouldn't be able to twist it very much. I mean, the tail is on a bold joint, which is nice. And you can get them into some really, really awesome poses. I say this out of the, the mid-sized ones, this one is definitely the best. Uh, one more thing I'd like to point out is that they actually painted the claws on this. Now, I know a lot of the other hammock collection do have painted claws. I can think of a few that don't. The Gallimimus doesn't. The Parasaurolophus and the Triceratops all don't. While this has every finger and toe, well, except the Duke Claw. The Duke Claw is never painted for some reason, but on the T-Rex it is. I want to go over the, the the coloration. You got some of a, a reddish color, and that color does continue down. It does look a bit different, but I could be wrong. Tell me if it's different or not. Hopefully, my comments are working, but if it's not, I'm on Discord, so. You got that striping. It goes down the neck. It goes all the way to here. I kind of would have wanted it to connect to the, to the hump, but I can't have everything. The next two reviews are probably going to be Dino Tracker, and I do have a Geostorm Brigger coming. Hopefully. Hopefully he ships it. I actually have a Geostorm Brigger, for once. <laughs> but yeah, this is the uh, Hammond Collection Concavenator. Um, I will do some comparison for you guys in just one second. Alright, I am back, and I have... Um, the HC concavenator as well as the two dual attack. Um, I'll also try to go get the, the two concavenator minifigures. Um, here is, and you can kind of see my shelf. You kind of see how I did it. Put all the $15-ish ones, like the, the Roar Strikers. Well, the, the mini ones go somewhere else until it's complete. I have the white female raptor coming as well. Actually, I already have it. I don't get it, though. Christmas, my mom got it for me for Christmas. Hold on. Sorry. Why are we still in this? Here's the second dual attack concavenator, and here is the first one. Mine doesn't stand. Come on. And they fell over. So they're definitely different. Now I'll kind of show you how the HC one does look a bit bigger. Hold on. All right, here it is next to the um, the two minifigures. I'll put. This one kind of closer to that. Alright. It's looking good. The Concavenator family. 
which is the best one, you guys? I don't know. I kind of like the new Hammond Collection one the best. But tell me what you guys think. I'd love to hear it. Hopefully I get to hear it. And peace.